Now he understood the significance of the sword missing from his vision. The sword of the Emperor was there before him, upon the person of a living Primarch. Rebute Gilliman had come to Bal. There was no mistaking it. Dante had seen the Primarch before, shut away in a stasis field in the fortress of Hera on the crag, where he had sat a second from death for most of the Imperium's history. But here he was, alive and breathing. The Primarch's physical presence hit Dante hard. Gilliman was nobility writ large, a monument in flesh. He was overwhelming. Ignoring the hurts of his healing wounds, Dante fell to his knees with a clatter and dropped his head. Can it really be true? Is it really you? Do you live? The Primarch stood and set his sword aside and came down the steps. Get up, Dante, said Gulliman gently. I will not accept displays of humility from a man like you. You are one of the few in this era who have earned the right to speak with me on equal terms. Rise, now. Dante grunted with a pain as he attempted to get to his feet. Gilliman grasped Dante's pauldrons and bodily hauled the chapter master up. Forgive the indignity, Gilliman said. I see you are hurt. Dante nodded numbly. Never kneel before me again. I will have you stand with me as a mark of respect. I will order you not to, if I must. I would rather our relationship not function on those terms. I have no time for deference. There is too much to do. Though, if your pains are great, you may of course sit, he said with the ghost of a smile. If you enjoyed this video, it is just a clip from the main video on my channel. The video is a theory on how Games Workshop will not be bringing back Sanguinius as the Primarch of the Blood Angels, and that instead, they will implement twin Primarchs for the Blood Angels. If you think that's interesting, go check it out. I certainly put a lot of work into it, and I personally think it's very entertaining. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Ta for now.